All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show how I'm gonna treat this natural vegetable tanned leather belt from Pigeon Tree Crafting. I'm gonna try to see, we have some sort of spots forming, some inconsistencies along the grain of the leather. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's from. It's probably my fault. I probably had lotion on my hands or something like that. <laughs> And it caused some inconsistencies. But I've had this belt about a year and a half and I wear it quite often. I love it. But today, you can see some of the indigo crocking there. It looks really cool. As I wear these with my raw denims, I wear this belt with my raw denims a lot. So it really soaks up a lot of the raw indigo. Got the teardrop eyelets there. So anyways, uh, Isaac from Pigeon Tree Crafting, he sells this stuff called Smith's Leather Balm and I've seen nothing but really rave reviews on this stuff and actually looking at their site, I guess they hand pour every single tin, which definitely is a mark of quality. So I'm going to treat it with this. All right, I'm just gonna start on this end here. And I'm just gonna rub it in like I would a lotion. So, I'm just gonna get some on my finger there. Start rubbing that into the leather pretty evenly. Yeah, talking to Isaac, I asked him if I should use, you know, what kind of product I should use, and he, he was very quick to recommend this stuff. mainly because it spreads pretty evenly, uniformly. All right, so on and so forth. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do the whole length of the belt like that. And I'm actually not going to do the other side. I like that rough out indigo look on the other side. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm just gonna apply this pretty evenly over the surface of the belt. Let's see how it turns out. I'll note I did consider using uh, jojoba oil on this because that's what Isaac uses to condition a lot of his belts but uh, but he actually advised that I hold off and try the Smith's leather balm so that's what I'm doing here. And I think He's probably right, because he knows his stuff. Oh wow, that soaks in real fast right there. All right, so here we are after one full coat. Looking a bit darker, but I think it's looking nice. So here we are a couple days later. I gave it two coats total and of the of the Smith's leather balm and I gotta say it I'm, I'm liking the end result. It's it's a little darker. It definitely feels a lot more supple. Um, of course some of those blemishes there they're not gonna come out but they are covered up a lot more. They're 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 more discreet. Um, I think that I was just getting either sweat or lotion or something on there. And that's what was causing that. It's not the belt's fault. It's definitely my fault, but I think it's got a nicer tone to it overall, and it definitely feels healthier after applying it. And actually, I, I looked at the ingredients, and one of the main ingredients in it is um, beeswax. And I thought I noticed that smell when I opened the can, that it kind of smells like beeswax. Uh, I'm familiar. I've made my own lotions a couple of times using beeswax, and other things and uh, and yeah so it definitely has that distinctive beeswax smell going on so it's definitely it's good for your skin and it's good for your leather <laughs> so and I did go ahead I actually put a thin coat of it on my Vibergs here and I think they uh, it definitely made, made them a little bit it definitely conditioned them a little bit they were starting to get kind of dry so I think they look a lot better after one small coat of the Smiths leather balm. 
So anyways, this has been my short and sweet video on conditioning conditioning my belt from Pigeon Tree Crafting. Again, there's, there's the logo. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.